My friends! Welcome back to Satisfactory, uh, where so far we have essentially been making the very basics of all the stuff to make some mild progress. Uh, but what we're going to do today is something that I consider personally to be one of the more important parts of this challenge, is we are going to be starting to build some walls because if my memory serves it's four high in biscuits factories and beautification is obviously incredibly important but as I don't currently have the ability to create windows I'm just going to have to do the best I can with what we currently have here which is just the bare bones basic walls so I am going to just quickly do this. I think you're just the only wall part there. Yeah, because then it goes to the corner. Excellent. Ah, not enough sheets. Okay. Um, but essentially, I'm going to just create all of the walls around here. And then we are going to do a couple of things that we can do initially with what we have just to pretty up where we can. Uh, so while we've been doing other stuff, obviously resources have been collecting and ooh, we actually have a decent amount of stuff for once. Um, so bear with me for just one second and I will go ahead and I'll make all of the walls around here and then we will be back to do some beautification together. So I'll be back. Okay so I've just put up the walls just up to the four high at the moment but as you can tell this is not exactly super pretty at the moment um, but there's a couple of things that we can do straight away to fix so blocking off the look of those to begin with. Uh, that immediately just helps while also not clipping through the backs here uh, with the machines so that way all the resources can, if in a physical world, still come through. Uh, over here, I don't have the wall pieces yet that have the conveyor belt holes, uh, so for the moment this is just how it's going to be. Um, there are a few things like this bit here where it's clipping through that I'm going to just put oh, one of those walls in so that way it can still clip technically um, because this is a wall but it creates just a nice little window uh, and while we don't actually have windows yet what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a few open holes to be able to see out into the world because occasionally you want to see things and it's just nice to be able to do that. Uh, this wall here is clipping into the rocks but I honestly quite like how that looks so I'm keeping my rock wall and I don't care what anyone has to say. Um, at some point we're obviously going to be redoing all of this when we get the nice pretty windows but for now this is realistically the only way that we can make some windows um, so the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually make it so the power goes all the way around and isn't clipping through the walls nearly as much I personally enjoy having them up to the wall uh, and then going from there. So for these ones, technically they're really pressing against the wall. But oh, as I have said many a time, I don't really mind just that little bit of soft clipping. Um, some people do. I'm not the some people. Uh, so, with that in mind, there we go. Now we have most of the way around the back area, uh, and I'm just going to do a few more things around the side in terms of the power, uh, so bear with me for just one second while I do a couple of other power thingies. 
Alright, so essentially what I have done is just connect this one up here to this. Uh, so this will act as essentially our in, in pipe for electricity. Uh, this bit goes all the way along the edge. I'm going to keep this one here just because it is very central and I have one here anyway to hook a couple of things up. Uh, and then it just, yeah, continues around. So now we have some power poles that go along that way, some that go this way, and one of the things we can do is get rid of some excess power lines. Uh, so that way, this whole space now is free. So if we need to squeeze more stuff in at any point, we have a nice little area. Uh, the last couple of things I'm going to do in terms of beautification on the inside is just finish making a couple of those. Uh, I don't think we need this entryway to be quite as, uh, let's just say, imposing as it is. Um, so give me a second. And then too high. Done. Uh, that way, it's just got a nice clear barrier between inside and outside, and for now, the only way I can make an upstairs ooh, nuts, uh, is to have a ramp on the outside. Uh, once I do get the actual stairs, uh, which are unlocked later, I will then be able to have an internal staircase, but for the right now, the best I can do... Start you there. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, 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 spin. There we go. Okay. Is I'm just going to have some ramps going up the edge. I think to there. There we go. And so it doesn't look horrible. Oh, I don't have the inverted ones yet. Ah, oh, well. Well, let's just block it all. Blocks, ahoy, matey. Oh, we don't need you. Oh, but we do need some down here so it's not all floating. Excellent. Ah, and now I have a ramp and I can start building a second floor because you know what this means that I can then start working on getting our storage up top. There we go. I don't know why you're saying you're clipping, but meh. Something's clearly in the way. I think it's... Is it just the wall? Must be the wall. Hm. Weird. Never did that to me before. <sighs> Alright, I'll quickly finish this, and then we'll continue from there. I'll be back. Alright, so I've just finished putting down all of the walls, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete... Oh, actually, no, not that one. I'm going to delete this bit here so I can have the lift erators, um, such as that one, coming up to come out here so we can then put all of our storage upstairs. So I'll quickly teleport back upstairs, and we'll make a few storage bins. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this should hopefully become apparent to you guys in a second. Uh, I know this is not the... Uh, actually, yeah, it really isn't the most efficient spacing. Uh, so let me go there and there and then there. Uh, so I'm going to, ow, get stuck, <laughs> and then I'm going to move all of these things upstairs. Uh, I think I might, just for you guys' sanity, just uh, pop that to being done. And done. <sighs> so, the reason for this is so I can have all of the resources upstairs. Oh. go and then I like to have a little conveyor belt at the front 
So that way I can very easily see visually what is here without having to go from one box to another. Obviously if you play the game enough you get used to what box is where and has what in it, uh, but for right now uh, that is essentially how I'm going to be doing this top uh, this second floor for the moment. Uh, we will be getting other processing things on here and then eventually the storage will probably end up being moved all the way up to the roof. But for right now, I am going to take our hub and put it up here with us and this is almost definitely going to destroy our power. Wow, that actually didn't. <laughs> oh, wrong button. I was fully expecting that to have killed our power. So, hooray! Uh, for now, I think... I actually think I want the hub to be over here. That... It's not hanging off anywhere? No! Brilliant! I almost fell off, but I didn't! Huzzah! Um... So I've got obviously the concrete to move up uh, and the copper, so I will again just fast forward you guys to that being done. And done. <sighs> so now all the resources that I've currently got being made are coming up to the top here into their designated pods. Uh, I did have to add a couple more biomass burners downstairs uh, because obviously these two were offline for ages. Um, so I'll just quickly get rid of all the exclamation marks, but essentially I have now got an actual upstairs, which is quite lovely. I quite enjoy it. There we go. That should be all the exclamation marks. Uh, so now we can actually start doing some of the objectives at some point in the next episode. Um, but a couple of things just to let you guys know so you don't get a little worried in the next episode when you see things that were done. I added another side to the ramp because coming up constantly was getting annoying going around the corner. Uh, so I now have two options for the upstairs. Um, had to do a couple of rejigging of the electrical poles um, because I had accidentally at one point not connected the wires over here so my copper wasn't actually running the whole time. Um, but otherwise it was a fairly uneventful running of all of the conveyor belts all the way into here so essentially these back bits here are going to be for the time being unusable but ah, good on the feet uh, down here we has now got a little bit more room so instead of the two uh, foundations that were being taken up by the um, storage containers it's now just one for the elevator and instead of the couple bit that were over here we've just got these ones here to come up uh, obviously this will all get redone and moved around and we get some more unlock things um, such as the wall conveyor belts uh, and the wall mounted uh, electrical wires but for now this will have to do uh, because as you can tell it's not super bright in here uh, i have got my settings done in a way that this isn't just completely shadow while we're still waiting for lights to be unlocked um, but I'm going to cap it there guys and I shall see you next time bye